Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great start to your Thursday. Uh, my name is Jeff Street. I teach people how to make money from home online. And today, I want to talk to you about an interesting question uh, that was asked to me. Uh, something that can all give us some things to think about. Uh, all uh, It's actually something that can allow all of us uh, to go out and be vulnerable. And there's so much power in allowing yourself to be vulnerable. And that question is, what's missing from your social media profile uh, page? Now, what do I mean by that? You know, for me, you know, I'm a big believer of the law of association. The people you hang around with is the people that you become. And I'm a big student of personal growth, self-development, and somebody that was a, a huge, huge mentor uh, from afar uh, for me, good morning, Geraldo, is Mr. Jim Rohn. And if you don't know who Jim Rohn is, I'm telling you, you got to go out and look up Mr. Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn is somebody who said, don't ask for less problems, ask for more skills. Don't wish things were easier, wish things were better. And so I'm a part of a Jim uh, Rohn uh, mastermind uh, Facebook group, and one of the admins uh, on the group, actually, I had uh, sent him a message, and he sent me a message back last night, and here's what he said to me. He said, Jeff, what's something I should know about you that you don't list on your Facebook uh, profile page? What's something I should know about you you don't list on your social media profile page? And you know, this is, here's what got me thinking. How many should agree all the things that we list on our profile page and who the people that, you know, people represent on social media? You know, it, it, it's people never talk about, you know, what, what's wrong with them. They only talk about what's, what's right with them. Does that make sense? Like people are, I, I, like I look at and I see how people represent themselves. And there's a very, one thing that I see that really lacks is I see, one thing I see that really lacks is vulnerability. You know, I did an event in Boston a few years ago with Tony Robbins. And he was talking about when it comes to connecting with people, when it comes to connecting with your audience, there's so much power in being vulnerable. But instead, people seem like they got this uh, shield of armor and they got this great life and everything's amazing for them and they never have any issues and all this. And, you know, they're perfect. Come follow me. Come be me. I'm Mr. Perfect. Okay. Interesting. But when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, you know, it's interesting just how much more connection uh, that we can go on and have with people. So, you know, Scott, as he messaged me and, you know, uh, he, uh, I, what I, I responded well with, with something personal. I said, Scott, you know what? That's a great question. Here's something that most people don't know about me. Uh, it's something that I don't put on my Facebook uh, profile pages. Uh, when I was born, I was born with a hole in my spine. I had, was born with spina bifida occulta. I had surgery at three years old, and also I had the diastemata myelia surgery at five years old. I had a spinal fusion to, you know, keep me from, you know, growing crooked. And, you know, when I was born, the doctors told my mom that there was a good probability that I would never be able to walk. But my mom was somebody, uh, Renee Street, uh, that really taught me incredible lessons really early on in life. And, 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 and that was the having the I can mentality. You know, I look at this every day. I can and I will. So my mom, now I don't remember this, but this is what they tell me. My mom used to look over my crib all the time as a little kid and said, you're going to walk. You're going to be great. Affirmation after affirmation after affirmation. She just kept saying, you're going to be, you're going to walk. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. See, she had that I can mentality. See, Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. So you got to choose to have that I can mentality. Look at the power today of my mom's I can mentality. Oh, wait, look, I'm walking all around. So, but so I learned early on in life, you know, how to go out and become an overcomer thanks to a problem, thanks to an issue. Thanks to a challenge. And it's those challenges in our lives that teach us how to go out and overcome. You know, and, and a lot of times these challenges also have other side effects. So for me, a side effect, you know, of, 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 of uh, you know, having spina bifida occulta and, you know, some of the different things with my back is that, you know, I was diagnosed in uh, middle school uh, with Tourette syndrome. Meaning I didn't, you know, swear or any, you know, anything like that. I had a mild case of Tourette syndrome. Matter of fact, a lot of times when I'd be speaking, you know, or if I'd be doing something, my arm would, you know, twitch or my leg would twitch. And, you know, a big thing for me is my eye uh, would, would blink a lot. Matter of fact, so much to the point where uh, friends in, in high school actually uh, nicknamed me uh, Blinky. Now, it sounds funny at the time, right now, but I'll tell you what, it, it wasn't at the time. It was something I was incredibly uh, self-conscious about, about actually having a nickname uh, that was, uh, that was uh, Blinky. But you know what? Somebody told me what one time, you got to make your adversity your advantage. 
And I'll never forget an event that I was speaking at in an arena full of people. I think it might have been the Kobo Center uh, in, uh, in Detroit, Michigan. And I stood in front of 10,000 plus people and I talked about how when I first got started in the home-based business industry, I was like, man, this is awesome. I just hope that they'll never have me speak in front of people because if they speak, if I speak in front of people, people are going to see me blink. People are going to see my arm start to twitch. I'm going to be fully exposed in front of groups of people on something that's wrong with me. But again, I was told, make your adversity your advantage. So I actually stood in front of that arena and shared that story with 10,000 plus people. And you know what? There were people that came up to me afterwards just thanking me for sharing that story. People said, you know what? You know, here's a challenge that was going on in my life. Here's something that was happening for me. Here's something that was, you know, that was going on. Thank you so much for just being real. Thank you for being vulnerable. And thank you for, for, for sharing that. And in a world that we live in today or in social media, you know, everybody just po posts all these, you know, incredible things which are awesome. I love inspiration. I love seeing different things that people achieved, but there's so, it's so much importance, you know, because I think that people are inspired by the struggle even more than the achievement. People are inspired by what people went through even more so than, oh, here, here's what they, they got. Here's this award. Here's that award. So just remember to always allow yourself to be vulnerable and make your adversity your advantage. Matter of fact, drop a comment that says my advantage because that's what that issue is. That's what that problem is. That's what that adversity is. That is your advantage. So drop a comment that says advantage. And you know what? If you're somebody that really wants to go out and allow yourself to be vulnerable today, to share with us something that's not on your social media profile, something that you don't put out there in the world, drop a comment and be vulnerable. You know, drop a comment and actually write something here today on this chat, you know, something, Barbara, your advantage, absolutely. Mark, your advantage, so drop a comment. Also, you can do this later on, put something that's not on your social media profile page. Put something that people don't normally know about you. Put something that's an adversity for you. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. Accept that, make it your advantage, and see what kind of incredible things happen in your life because of the connection that it creates for you to go out and allow yourself to be vulnerable. So Scott, thanks for asking me that question last night. Love being a part of the Jim Rohn Mastermind uh, you know, group. And uh, you know, if you think that there's value uh, in this message here today, ladies and gentlemen, hit the share button. Hit the share button so somebody else can hear this morning's message. Again, drop a comment that says, my advantage. And again, if you want to allow yourself to be vulnerable, drop a comment later on and something that's, you know, something that's wrong with you, something that's your adversity, something that you normally wouldn't have posted on your social media profile for the world to go out and know about you. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. So guys, hope everybody has an incredible day. Again, my name is Jeff Street. I teach people how to make money from home online. God bless everybody. Have an incredible rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning.